about the magical powers of that toothpick you had back <laughs> when you lifted weights? Um, it got me the low four five I wanted, so <laughs> it has some type of magic in it. <laughs> yeah. It, what was your forty time? Uh, so one guy had a four four nine, another guy had a four five two on the first rep, and then the second rep a guy had four five six. So, so somewhere in there. How does that compare to what you wanted going into today? That's perfect. I actually wanted a low four five. Uh, I told myself I'd be happy with that, and I really like the guy that got the four four nine. So we could be good <laughs> friends. <laughs> Overall performance wise, how did you stack up to where you wanted to be? I think I was actually um, above where I wanted to be. While I was at the performance center, Michael Johnson performance center, I was getting consecutively 15 reps on bench. Came out here today, I was able to put up 19. Um, I didn't crack 10 on the broad jump at Michael Johnson. Came out here today, did a 10-1. So um, I, I think I had a really good day. And Michael Johnson in Houston, is that right? Uh, in Dallas. Oh, in Dallas. Yeah. Okay. Hey, considering the stuff that you went through last year to even get a chance to, uh, to play football, you kind of, you know, after you finish things off, realize how big of a trip it's been for you guys, for you just in the last year or so? Yeah. Um, it's something that I really don't take for granted. Mm -hmm. um, it's a blessing to be able to go through everything that, you know, I've went through in my football career and be able to come out here and perform in front of all these scouts like we did today. Um, I'm just very grateful and I'm humble. Was like they threw a lot of balls to you, to you and Jordan after, after everything was said. Yeah, they was did. That, was that encouraging to, to be able to? Yeah, no, it was. I think work. it was more so uh, to test our metal, to see what we had left mm -hmm. in the tank. Um, I know me and Jordan, we were a bit tired towards the end, but we never gave up, and we gave it our best, so hopefully they like it. I mean, also Going back to your um, the training at the Michael Johnson Performance Center, how was it you know, practicing with different people from different teams and getting to know, and what was the training like over there? Um, I think that was probably the most uh, pivotal thing in my training experience, being able to train with these guys that are, you know, you had Joe Mixon from Oklahoma, big name guys and sort of see where you stack up with them day in and day out. And um, just after that, it really gave me the confidence to come out here and just give it my best. Training was rigorous, but it was definitely worth it. What did they have you doing out there? Um, a lot of 40 starts. A lot of 40 starts, a lot of technique, focusing on detail and the little minute things. Egg, what's next for you? You just kind of sit and wait and you just got to be patient now? So it's sort of a waiting game and it's sort of, um, being ready so you don't have to get ready when your number's called. Uh, I'll be training still, I'll be conditioning still, and uh, hopefully somebody likes what they saw and they'll give me a call, fly me up, see what we can make happen. What would it mean to be the second player ever drafted from UTSA? It would mean the world to me. It would mean the world. Um, it's not It's not something to take you know lightly. David Morgan was an incredible football player, so if I could sort of walk in his footsteps and be the second guy that is drafted from UTSA, it would mean the world to me and my family. So you gonna hang around here or are you gonna go back? To uh, I'll probably, I've got one more night here in the hotel and then I'll probably go back to Austin. I saw you hanging out with Kenny Bias from time to time, so what was it like being back together again? It was good, I didn't even think he was gonna be here because he was here about, what, two years ago? Um, so it was good to see my guy, see him taking another crack at it and hopefully he gets picked up. You know, as you went out there today, were nerves apart? You know, considering a lot of um, my money was riding on that. Yeah, no, <laughs> I hear you. I think nerves, uh, you're past the nerve point because you prepare. I've been preparing for three months. So if anything, I was just anxious to get it done. I was I was ready to come out here and just show these scouts what I can do. What's the relief like to finally get it over with? Oh, man, monkey off my back, elephant <laughs> off my back. <laughs> but not too many off days. We're going to get right back to it. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you.